exactly. We do have an issue out in the West Valley. We have an accident early this morning. It's live on our ADOT camera. It's a Loop 101 southbound near McDowell. It is blocking three lanes. Look at all this traffic here in this area early this morning. So just know when you're heading out over there on that part of the freeway, it's going to take you some time. We see some traffic building up as we approach Thomas, and then it eases up after the accident site. So allow yourself a few extra minutes if you're heading on that part of the freeway, or go ahead and use the surface streets and then get back on the Loop 101 or the I-10, depending where you're going. All right, let's take a look at the big picture. We have a lot of green in the East Valley, in the North Valley, and the Southwest Valley as well. Great driving conditions on the Loop 303 and then far out on the I-10 in the Buckeye area. So good to go there. We still have this closure here this morning. We had it over the weekend. The Loop 101 West one was closed between the 51 and Cave Creek Road. It will be reopening within the next few minutes, so it shouldn't cause any major issues for you. All right, so let's plan ahead. Let's take a look at our future cast for 7.30 a.m. We will see some busy traffic on the I-10 eastbound as you approach 59th Avenue, but that's typical for that time of the morning. It'll continue towards downtown Phoenix, and then we'll see a little bit of traffic on the 17th South Durango Curve as you get closer to 7th Avenue and then it'll ease up at 7th Street. So I'll keep an eye on that accident and let you know when it clears up this morning. Joe. All right, we'll check back in on a little bit. Still ahead on to time for this accident. It cleared up behind me at 519 this morning. It's live on our ADOT camera. It's a Loop 101 southbound near McDowell Road. It is blocking a few of the left lanes there and so it's causing some issues. Now on the maps it shows that it's closed, but it is not closed. We just have some heavy traffic in that area as you approach Thomas and it continues to that accident site. So your best bet is to get off the freeway before Thomas, use the surface street like 99th Avenue and then get back on the freeway, either the Loop 101 or the I-10, depending where you're going over there in that direction. For the rest of the valley, great driving conditions in the East Valley, the North Valley, far out in the West Valley on the Loop 303 and the I-10, no major issues at this time. Looks like we have a surface street accident that popped up in the West Valley as well. So I'll take a look at that and I'll keep it on this accident and let you know when it clears up. All right, thanks. This morning we are still dealing with this accident in the West Valley on the Loop 101. It's on the Loop 101 southbound near McDowell. It is blocking a couple of the lanes, the left lanes there. We still have the fire department on the scene and all the flashing lights. So people are also paying attention to what's going on, which is causing some delays. When we take a look at our maps, we do see the traffic slowing down as you approach Thomas and it continues to that accident site. So again, allow yourself a few extra minutes or go ahead and exit the freeway and use a surface street like 99th Avenue to get around that one. When we take a look at the big picture, we do have a couple accidents here on the maps. We also have some busy traffic on the I-10 eastbound as you approach 43rd Avenue. We're in the orange zone there. We have this accident in the East Valley clearing up on the Loop 202 eastbound near 52nd Street. No major delays around that one. We still see some green and then we have a surface street accident on Cactus Road at 43rd Avenue involving a motorcycle. So drive with caution in that area and I'll keep you updated when it clears up. Emma. Jeez, Vanessa, what a now, Vanessa. All right, so this accident is finally clearing up here. It's at 606 this morning. Here's a live picture from our ADOT camera. It's a Loop 101 southbound near McDowell. It was blocking three lanes earlier this morning. Now it looks like it's only blocking two, and they have the tow trucks on the scene, so it should be cleared up within the next few minute, minutes, but traffic is finally eased up. We did see a lot of red and orange as you were approaching Thomas earlier this morning, but now we're back to the green zone, so things are looking pretty good over there on that part of the freeway. I'll let you know when it completely clears up in my next report. Emma? Had a busy morning out on those roads. Well, from lights in Flagstaff and the White Mountains. All right, before you head out the door, though, you got to check in with Vanessa and the roads. Yes, that's right. At 618 this morning, I know it's kind of blurry, but we've been keeping an eye on this accident here on the Loop 101 southbound near McDowell. This is a live picture from our ADOT camera, so we can see the flashing lights there still. We have a couple tow trucks on the scene, but it's definitely eased up this morning. We had some heavy traffic for about an hour that started at Thomas, and it continued to that accident site, but now we're back to the green zone, so you are good to go, but still drive with caution over there because of that tow truck that's on the scene. Now let's take a look at the big picture. We do have a couple other accidents, but no major issues around the, these two accidents here. We have one over here in the East Valley, the Loop 202 eastbound near 52nd Street. No major delays around that one. It should be clearing up pretty soon. And then a surface street accident on Cactus and 43rd Avenue. Now this one's involving a motorcycle so we do see a little bit of traffic building up around this one over here we're in the yellow zone so still not too bad but drive with caution in that area and i'll let you know when it clears up this morning this morning we have some light traffic across the valley here's a live picture from our adoc camera this is the west valley on the i-10 eastbound at 43rd avenue my camera just froze up but we have a decent amount of traffic but things are moving along well over there on that part of the freeway when we take a look at the maps we see a little bit of orange as you get closer to 43rd avenue but it's still flowing and it's going towards downtown phoenix some traffic on the 17th southbound as you get closer to the stack and then we have this accident in the clearing stages here in the east valley it is on the loop 202 eastbound near 52nd street but no major delays around that one emma
Sounds good. Accident in the clearing state is at 506 this morning. It's live on the ADOT camera. It's a loop 101 southbound near McDowell. It is blocking three lanes at this time, and we see those flashing lights on the scene. The fire department is there as well. So people are also paying attention to what's going on, and we're down to one lane there. So allow yourself some extra travel time when you're heading out over there. As we approach Thomas, that's where you start to see a lot of major traffic. It's showing closed here on our maps, but it is not closed. Just that one lane is open. So allow yourself extra travel time. Use the surface streets to get around this one and then get back on the freeway after the accident. I'll keep you updated when it clears up. Okay.